tell you right now that I'm gonna save the best for last. And of course, um, like sirens started going off in my head. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Jen from Jen's House of Six. And you may notice that my audio is hopefully a little bit better. I invested $20 into a mic. It's different than I'm used to, but my audio is so much better. I stumbled upon an estate sale just around the corner from my house. I didn't even know it was going on. I was just headed to town and saw the sign. And of course, I feel like that's when I find the best things. Maybe not, maybe I'm just thinking that I do, but it was a three day sale and it was on day two. So I decided to stop and I had actually been to a sale they had had there before, probably about a year ago. I did find some really great items there. I'm going to bring you with me and show you a little bit of the estate sale. Now, again, I mentioned this before. I don't do a lot of videoing at estate and yard garage sales because I am on other people's property and I feel like it's an invasion of their privacy so I try to get a little bit but I don't go out of my way like I would at the store to get really great footage. I found an item that I have been dreaming about for a really long time. I would never have bought this item had I not found it like thrifting or estate sales, something like this. I didn't just find one, I found a box full. Okay, I'm not gonna give it away. I'm being super secretive <laughs> over a secondhand item. But you guys, I get more excited, I think, about secondhand stuff than something brand new. I don't know if you're like that or not, but honestly, it's brand new to me. So I, yeah, I get excited about it. Especially when it's something that I have been wanting for a really, really long time. Anyways, I'm going to show you the footage of the estate sale. I'm going to come back and show you my haul. I don't think my footage gave away what I got. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you right now that I'm gonna save the best for last. <laughs> so here we go. First up is this. Wonderful little, oh, what do you call this? A lantern? No, hurricane lamp? I think so, but it doesn't take oil. That is why I was drawn to this. It has the globe. This glass is so thin i don't even know how it didn't break these people have probably had it for years and years but it didn't okay this is why i love this i don't have to buy oil you can put any candle you want in there pretty much any size because it has this little pointy thing right here you could even i could put a taper or a wide whatever you know and all of the wax will melt inside it it won't make a mess 
and look at it. I just love this. I have never seen anything like this before. It's just white like a ceramic candlestick. That's what this is, right? It says Royal, it's USA, which is rare, or, or it means it's really old. And look at the regular price on it, which was still kind of high back, like however old this is, right? $16.99. I wasn't on the lookout for anything like this, but I have a lot of candles that I keep on hand for emergencies in case the power goes out. So I'm really glad Next to have up it. is this cutie little cow creamer. I haven't washed any of this stuff yet, so I kind of think that this tag may have said $2. It is made in Japan, it says. Oh no, made in, oh my, France? Does it say France? I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me. What does it say? I don't know what it says. Rondi? That's weird. Okay, I don't know where it was made, but it's so cute. And it also had this that was with it. They don't really go together because this is more white and this is more creamy. I don't, you probably can't tell in the camera. And I'm having a really hard time here with the lighting. But this side has a cow and this other side has, um, it says, oh my goodness, I might have to move. This says milk. I pulled my shade down, hoping that helps with the lighting. I grabbed this bowl. I don't think it's old, but I really, really like it. And it says salt, flour, sugar, eggs, butter. It says that all the way around when you spin it. And it's a nice size mixing bowl. And it's made in China. The regular price on it was only $1.99, which is really great a price. really hard time here with the lighting. It keeps going dark. I'm so sorry about now that. Now we're moving on to the good stuff. I found my first iron stone, you guys. <laughs> I didn't even know how much I love it until I seen it in person. Like I, I've never really seen iron stone except on somebody else's video or on someone else's Instagram. Or maybe I have and I just didn't pick it up and look at it. But the pieces that I found are stuff that I've never seen before or I would have picked it up and looked at it and possibly bought it. But this is actually is ironstone. So it says made in Spain, Pontessa ironstone. And it's, I mean, not a chip on it. It's in perfect condition. I love the shape of this little, I don't know what this is, like a serving bowl. And it has like a leaf, see if it'll focus. We're having, it's being picky on me today. See the leaf design. Hopefully that comes through good, you guys. I'm so sorry about the lighting. I will definitely move to another spot the next time I record. But it's just a wonderful creamy color, not a chip on it. I was so excited. Okay, Moving on. Them. Oh, oh my word, you guys, these are in perfect condition. I actually thought that maybe this went to this and it could totally sit in there, but they're just a little bit, um, you probably can't, maybe you can tell, I don't know. It's like, this is a little more creamy and this is a little more white gray. So, but it would still be fine. Like you could totally pull it off. But anyways, let me show you this. Isn't it just the cutest thing? It's just like a little pot belly pitcher. It is so pretty. Okay, and it, it says, uh, ah, um, Federalist Ironstone, dishwasher safe, oven proof, says made in Japan. I didn't know that Ironstone was made in Japan. I thought they were like French. So, um, you guys, I don't know. I don't know enough about ironstone to know about that, but it's just, it's just in perfect condition. Literally so excited, but I'm not done. I found more. Isn't it beautiful? Let, let's just admire it for a second. Like I, the shape is amazing. Not one chip on it. 
it's just like awesome. This is actually a flaw in it when it was made. I don't know if you could see that. It's like some sort of a little dip or something. Okay, here's the bottom. You guys can tell me, is this ironstone? And it just doesn't say ironstone or does all ironstone say ironstone on the bottom of it? I don't know. I gotta tell you the story about this though. So this was in this bin of all of these things and it said $20 or best offer on it. When I was just going to buy the picture itself, I asked the lady that was working there how much it was and she told me $5. Of course, I, I, did, I wasn't like, oh really? I was just, you know, <laughs> playing it cool. <laughs> That's why I told my daughter, don't set that down, hang on to it tightly. Took it up there to hold it and then she's like, you know what, you should just buy the box because it's gonna be cheaper. And I was like, great idea. Left it there. Went to go get the box, came back, loaded everything up, paid, got home, pulled this out, looked on the bottom, and it didn't say ironstone. And I know the one that I pulled up did say ironstone. And I was very disappointed because I should have checked everything before I left, but even then it was too late. Someone had already switched it, and maybe the kids realized they didn't want to sell their mom's ironstone, which is totally fine, but I wish they would have let me know, you know, because I was like, oh, it's not the same one, even though this one is beautiful because my first th um, thing was this. This was not on it when I picked it up. And so then I looked on the bottom and I was like, this is not the same picture. So I ha had started cleaning around the house and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna drive back over there. Maybe that's still there. Maybe they didn't realize somebody else switched it out or something. And then I thought, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that because I am happy with this picture I don't have to have something that says ironstone on the bottom, so I just left it alone. But the next day, I decided to go back because I thought maybe they pulled more stuff out, you know, because there was a lot of things in boxes. I know this is a really long story, so thank you guys for sticking with me. I did end up finding more things, and I'm going to show you guys those things on another haul. But I saw a stack of boxes over in the corner, and one of them said, Mom's White Pitcher. And of course, um, like sirens started going off in my head. I opened it and this is what I found. Isn't this one lovely too? Okay, you guys, I love this. It's so beautiful. And not only is it beautiful, but it is ironstone. I'm echoing, I'm echoing. This is so big and beautiful and it's really ironstone. There's not one chip on it. And you guys, I got this for $5. <laughs> I went from no white pictures to now I have three white pictures. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Like they're all so different. Thank you guys for being excited with me. I know a lot of you know about ironstone and how expensive it is and yet how beautiful it is. And it's kind of hard to find too, especially secondhand thrifting, stuff like that. I feel truly, truly blessed to be able to find that. Like that's so weird, I know, but I just love it. I love them, they're beautiful and they're a wonderful keepsake. They're timeless, they're never gonna go out of style and it's ironstone. I finally found ironstone. Thank you guys for sticking with me and listening to my long story. We actually ended up buying a huge stainless steel workbench for my husband that has like sliding doors for $25. It's all those little details that make it that much more exciting when you find something you've been wanting for a really, really long time. And then to go from on Friday, I was a little bit disappointed because it wasn't ironstone when I got it home to Saturday, finding a whole other one that was for sure ironstone. It's just crazy how that all worked out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Hit the little bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.